Do you want to make your right stuff plane fly or even improve your plane's flight times? Well, stay tuned because you're about to find out how. Hey, what's up guys? My name's Faison. If you don't already know me, I've competed in Science Olympiad for the past seven years and I'm here to teach you everything I know to help you kill it at your next competition. Before we get into the video, please be sure to leave a like if you enjoy it, drop a comment down below with any questions or feedback that you have, and subscribe to the channel because I post new videos just like this every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to make your plane fly or improve your flight times, then the most basic principle you need to focus on right now is center of gravity. And if you don't already know what center of gravity is, it's basically the point at which an object completely balances out. So for example, if I have this ruler right here and I balance it on my finger, the, the center of gravity of this object is right here because it's able to completely balance on the point which is my finger. So you want to find this point on your airplane and make adjustments to your airplane to shift the center of gravity. Now, if now generally when you're building an airplane, you usually want the center of gravity to be roughly under the main wings of your airplane. And here's how you do. The first way that you can change the center of gravity on your airplane is to simply add weight to the front or the back of your plane. Now, if you add weight to the front of your plane, then the center of gravity shifts forward. And when you shift the center of gravity forward, you're able to uh, solve any stalling that your plane may have. However, if you put too much weight onto the front of the airplane, then your plane might begin to nosedive, or it may become too heavy to stay aloft. However, if you put weight on the back of the airplane, the center of gravity shifts towards the tail. And what that does is it accounts or fixes for any nose diving your plane may be experiencing. And similar to the, to the previous explanation, if you add too much weight to the back, then your plane may become too heavy for you to fly it and help it stay aloft for a longer period of time. And the other way that you could change the center of gravity for your Science Olympiad right stuff airplane is to shift the position of the wings on the fuselage. Now, this is only applicable if you're able to adjust the position of your wings. And if you're not able to, I highly recommend that you try adding weight instead. Now, adjusting the wings is a better way to go about adjusting the center of gravity simply because you're not adding any additional weight to your airplane. Instead, you're simply shifting the position of the wings on the fuselage. Now, if you shift the position of the wings back towards the tail, then the center of gravity shifts forward as seen by this ruler. And if you shift the center of gravity or you shift the, the wings closer towards the nose of the airplane, then the center of gravity will shift towards the tail, like so. So if you're able to adjust your wings, then I highly recommend you start playing with where the wings sit on your fuselage until you get to the center of gravity that you're happy with. All right, but what if you already have the center of gravity where it needs to be? But your plane still isn't able to fly. What can you do then? Well, if you're experiencing this phenomenon, then what you can do is increase the incidence angle of your airplane. Now, if your wings are sitting completely straight on the fuselage without any angle, then it's currently sitting at a zero degrees incidence angle. Now, if you increase the incidence angle of your wings, then your wings will be pushing down more air molecules and your plane will have more lift to go upwards. Now, if you add too much incidence to your wing, your plane will begin to stall. Now, if this happens, you can simply reduce the incidence on your airplane 
which will push fewer molecules down and, re and reduce the lift of your airplane and will counteract some of that stalling that your airplane may be experiencing. So in short, if you're increasing the incidence, you'll be able to solve for any nose diving. And if you decrease incidence, you will be able to solve for stalling. If you want to learn more about how you can make your Science Olympiad right stuff plane fly better, or how you can change the center of, mat of gravity for your right stuff plane, then I highly recommend you check out an article I made covering this exact topic. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, drop any questions or feedback that you have in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel because I post new videos just like this every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed.